And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, happy Monday to everybody out there. We're going to continue to crank the heat for this entire week. That does include today. Today, just some mostly sunny skies and daytime highs stopping out in the mid to upper 90s. There probably will be a few cities that hit 100 degrees. It's slightly possible in Amarillo. I'd give maybe a 20 to 30 percent chance that will hit triple digits here in the city. But winds will be a little bit breezy out of the southwest at times at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Could see some gusts up to 25 or 30 at some point. Now, we are seeing some showers in the region early, early this this morning that's not expected uh, to continue for the rest of today. Most of us should remain dry. So if you're doing anything outside today, that sun will be baking us in the Texas Panhandle. So make sure to wear that sunscreen, drink a lot of water, and if you're performing any hard physical labor outside, be sure to take your take some breaks. Give your body a chance to rest and recharge a little bit, whether it's you know areas in the shade or areas inside, maybe in some air conditioning that'll feel very good. And remember to keep that in mind for really this entire week. You notice temperatures not fluctuating at all right around 100 degrees for a daytime high every single day this week. Now starting Tuesday all the way through Thursday, we're going to get some upper level northwesterly flow from a high pressure system just to our west, and that's going to give us some slight storm chances late in the evening into the overnight hours for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Now, not everybody's going to see rain out of this event, even though it's over a three day stretch. It's going to be very isolated in coverage every day, but might possibly give us a little bit of relief in the way of that heat if it does rain in your hometown. Now going into next weekend, looking to see a cold front come through and that would bring in some quote unquote cooler temperatures, but for this we'll call them less hot temperatures going into next weekend, maybe with more of an increased rain chance with highs only in the upper 80s and lower 90s.